So you might be noticing something a bit odd. I've got a heart monitor on because the doctor says I just have too much love to give that we got to watch that shit. <laughs> yeah, that was such a bad joke. But seriously, though, I'm Iron Man. Actually, all right, that's better. We can literally strategically place the mic right here to actually block it because it's actually distracting me. And I, it's probably distracting you guys too. But you guys, don't worry about me. I promise you I'm fine. Heart's been a little funky. We're just watching the rhythm for a week, but I'm, I'm alive and I'm going to be doing this stuff and helping lift you guys up for a long, long time. But I wanted to talk today because I watched this podcast this morning and it was one of those, uh, you know, success on YouTube podcasts and like building up your channel, et cetera, et cetera. And they were doing like a QA, and a and this guy asks the question and he's basically just like, hey, I started a successful YouTube channel and a business and I had so much passion, so much drive because I'm an immigrant and, you know, we didn't have money, but now I make more than enough money to support my family and the business is doing well. And I just, I just don't have the motivation. I just don't have the passion and the fire to keep working on this YouTube thing and to keep putting out content and making videos because the money's coming in either way. And all I wanted to do was literally scream through the internet and tell this guy, bro, enjoy your life. <laughs> <laughs> like at that point, the hustle has served its purpose, but this guy was so addicted to being stuck in the hustle culture and this pursuit of more and more and more growth and more abundance and more success that even though he achieved the original reason of starting his business and he has the money to literally just enjoy his life and be happy, he wasn't happy. He was miserable and beating himself up about not being more productive and not being more on the grind. So today's video, long ass intro, is gonna be about, hey, you, whoever you are, enjoy your freaking life already, seriously. <laughs> because we as humans, and I've been guilty of this too in the past before, like older versions of me for sure, but we are so addicted to this idea of more will make us happy, more money will make us happy, more success, whatever that means will make you happy, more relationships, a wife, a husband, a business, possessions, a nice car, heart monitors, <laughs> psych. Um, but the point is like, we are always on this pursuit of literally just wanting more. We feel like more will fulfill us, more will satiate us, more will make us actually feel like we are worthy and we are enough. But the truth is no. You need very little to be happy in all honesty. Like if you have a roof over your head and just enough money to afford food and do what you want to do, like the basic necessities, guys, like the basic, basic, basic stuff met, you have more than enough to be completely abundant and happy and overjoyed and enjoying your day-to-day -day life. You don't need six figures to enjoy life. You don't need a perfect relationship to enjoy life. You don't need... All of these material possessions, you don't need to grow some level of charisma or abundance or confidence or self-esteem. And in fact, by learning this, you will grow confidence and self-esteem just by understanding that you are innately enough. And this is the crazy thing is that everybody thinks you have to do more to become enough. You need to achieve more to become enough. You need to have some success per what society defines as success. And then you can feel like you made it. I am living a life worth living. But the truth is the life most people are living, that society says you should live, is not really the kind of life most people want to live. Like maybe a small percentage of people in the world actually do want the societal norms and what society states should be right. You know, like you're married by 30, white picket fence, a family, whatever. You're successful. We make six, wait, wait, like some people actually do want that. Very small though. Most of us, and if you sit down to do some introspection on this, you will realize that it doesn't really take a lot to make you happy. And in fact, nothing will ever make you feel worthy and nothing will ever make you feel like enough, like you're enough because that stuff comes intrinsically. It comes from an internal source. And that's the biggest lie society feeds society. 
And that's why so many of us are stuck in these vibrations and these loops because we keep reaching out for more. We keep thinking like, hey, if I have like 10,000 followers, I'll be successful. A million followers, I'll be successful. If I have this relationship, this business, this money, this car, the point I'm trying to hammer down your thick skull <laughs> is none of that is necessary. Now, that doesn't mean you don't go for anything, but you have to understand that when it comes to feeling like you're enough, you already are. It's not becoming enough. Like nothing will ever make you become enough because if a thousand dollars, a million dollars, if a relationship, if a house, if a business makes you feel like you're enough and that's where all your self-worth comes from, then the moment any of those things change, you're going to go back to feeling unworthy. And then you are dependent on being stuck inside those boxes and those prisons and those labels you place for yourself because you think your self-worth is attached to that. There may be a time in your life when you do want to own a business and you do want to make six figures a year, but after like five years and you've got a bomb ass saving account, maybe this is the time in your life where you don't want to own a business anymore. You just want to go travel the world and chill or lay out on the beach in Bali and you don't really even need money. Maybe you just go volunteer, but you, if you're stuck in that box and your identity is stuck with you being this six figure business guy that the moment you step away from that, you feel like you're not worthy anymore. And that's the trap with attaching your self-worth to external things be it a relationship, a car, money, whatever. As long as you do that, all of these external things will have control over you. The goal isn't that. The goal is to understand that, hey, you are enough and you've always been enough just the way you are. And the more you try to do something to become enough, the more you push that away from you. Because it's not about becoming enough. It's about realizing that you have always been enough. Freaking mind blown. Everybody is enough. It's not becoming something it's remember who you are everybody is a human being everybody has the potential to be whoever they want we can all tell ourselves different stories we can modify our core beliefs our values we can change we can grow we can adapt we can adopt the habits that make us become the person we want to be everybody has that power and everybody's different and like i said nobody can define for you what a good life is only you the creator the storyteller you can say what you think a good life is. For some people, it's being broke surfing every day in Bali. For some people, it is the six-figure business. For some people, it is a relationship. But what you'll find is if you actually sit down with yourself and take the time to meditate, pause, and really reflect on what makes you happy, you'll most likely find that it's actually not a lot. Happiness is just in the moment. Like for me personally, yeah, I'm grinding on this YouTube channel. I'd like to see it grow. I do this out of a place of service for me to help humanity because as a man, it's just, it's very vital to be as a part of, as blah, part of being a man, it's very vital to serve humanity. Now you can say I do this in my nursing job, but I do my nursing job and I also come here and I show up to put this kind of content out in the world. My own spin on, you know, self-help, mental health, you name it, just to help make the world a better place in my own way. And if it takes off and I can make a living off of this, cool, like even better, but my happiness isn't ingrained on this channel. So if my video gets two views, 50 views, no views, a million views, I mean, I'm sure a million views would feel pretty good, but it's, that's not the point guys. The point is I want to be the same Sammy with a successful channel or a channel that's still growing and on every phase of that journey. Same thing with the gym, Sammy right now looking pretty good. If I got fat and ate a bunch of brownies for some reason, I still want to be the same Sammy. If I get a six pack abs, like it's not going to change this, the way I show up in the world, I am still going to be the same version of me because I'm not going to make my identity and my self-worth ever attached to something external money. If I had a shitload more money, I'd probably be doing the same thing I'm doing now. Just chilling, kicking it, enjoying my life, making videos, working out. I don't think a million dollars would change that. Sure. I'd have a lot more money. Maybe I'd invest some of it. Maybe I'd buy something nice from my mom. I don't know. The point is. It's, it's not even necessary. And if I'm broke and homeless on the street one day, God forbid, I'm going to be showing up like this, man. I'm sure I'll probably have some access to a phone. So you're going to see your boy, Homeless Sammy, posted up here making these YouTube videos like, yeah, I'm homeless, but I'm going to help you be happy, motherfucker. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this, though? It's like you, you can't make your happiness dependent on anything external, because as long as you do that, you are literally setting yourself up for epic epic failure. 
and understand that it does come from within. And honestly, that's half the battle. When you realize that all of these things you think you need and you want to fill that void to actually make you feel like a worthy human are not actually necessary. And you can take that ball and that chain and that anchor that's in the back of your head and you can drop that weight right now. And when you do, you're going to feel so free. You're going to feel more comfortable just being yourself. You're going to feel like, why did I disillusion myself so long? I want to share with you guys this this thought I had about enlightenment recently. And to me, and I don't think enlightenment is about ascending to some higher level of consciousness or about becoming something else. As I've learned more about self-growth and gotten really in touch with my spirituality, I have discovered that enlightenment, and I'm not even saying I'm enlightened, like that's not even the word I'm using, but to me, enlightenment almost feels more like not ascending, it's more forgetting all the external bullshit that the world has told you. Because when we're babies and we're children and we're growing up, we don't actually get a say in the core beliefs, the influences, what's good or bad growing up. Like you're just an innocent kid whose brain is like Plato. It's malleable. It's malleable. You, it can be molded in so many different ways. And it's basically your parents, caregivers, older siblings, teachers, TV, media, whatever iPads these days. Oh, dear God. But you kind of get this understanding of the world and yourself in it and your beliefs based on external sources. So then we go through life and we're basically this this mesh of just whatever happened to us. And the scary thing is a lot of people will live their entire lives as this mesh of beliefs and stuff that they think is them. That's not really them because how many of those ideologies and belief systems and sense of what's right and what's wrong did you did you actually audit did they actually audit and be like hey is this a belief i want to have or not is this a belief i want to have or not is this the way i want to see the world or not nobody does that because why would you you're a kid you just like you get told stuff that's just like you kind of just go with it and then when you get to this level and if you're here on this channel you've gotten to this level where you wake up basically and you ask yourself these deeper questions and that's honestly in a weird way, kind of like the moment of enlightenment, because you have this period of your life where you're just this mush of like beliefs and traumas and whatever happened to you. And that's who you think you are until you ask yourself the question, like, wait a minute, do I even want to have these core beliefs, these values? Do I want to have different core beliefs, different values? Do I want to be someone who's confident? Do I want to be someone who gives value back into the world? Do I want to be someone who's lighthearted, fun, energetic, carefree. And here's the thing. And if nobody else ever tells you this, I'm telling you this right now. You can be whatever kind of person you want to be. You can do whatever kind of work you want to do to change your character, to change the programming, the beliefs, the subconscious mind, all the brain chemistry. You can shift that and become any kind of human you want to be. Right now, dude, I'm happy as fuck. I'm just this funny guy. I love life. I love getting on here and talking to you guys. My energy is great. My habits are immaculate, but five years ago, no, I wasn't. I was circling the drain. I was stuck in addiction, drinking myself dry, and these negative thought spirals, this de depressive stories I used to tell myself. And if I can do a 180 shift and be someone completely different, because I am someone completely different, then so can you, and so can anybody else. And that's what I'm here to show you, is that this journey we're on, it's fun. It's amazing. You can literally do whatever you want to do. You can be whoever you want to be. And the best part about all of it is that nothing external can validate the internal. You can do the work. You can meditate. You can delete your old programmings. You can adopt new core beliefs, new ideologies and mindsets that really resonate with you and work for you. And kind of coming back to that kid, these people will go through in this like derp state and they drift through their whole lives without actually ever self-actualizing themselves and stepping into their higher identity. But the moment you get to that place where you ask yourself the question, is this the kind of person I want to be? All of these beliefs and these things that I think are me, are they really me? And this takes time. Give yourself some time. Be gentle with yourself. A couple months, a couple years. And the only way to actually do that work is to meditate. You sit down, you pause 20 minutes a day. Let the work happen. But what you'll find is that a lot of the beliefs you thought were you aren't really you. And sometimes you just don't even know how they even got there, especially the limiting beliefs. And then what you realize is that 
why wouldn't I believe in the more positive narrative? You know, these ideas, faith, spirituality, a deep connection to a higher power, the fact that you are always where you're meant to be, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, you're always where you're meant to be right now, watching this video. This is where you're meant to be on your journey. This is where I'm meant to be on my journey. And whatever's meant for you, nothing on this planet or this universe can take it away from you. What's meant for you is going to be meant for you. Like, why not believe in higher powers? Because when you believe in higher powers, life gets easier. It feels light. It feels carefree. It feels fun. It's like, yeah, why, why believe? Why not believe that you're enough today? Why believe that you need something else? You see how that's a crutch? Like believing you need something external to fill the void versus just believing like you don't actually need anything external because you're you and you the way you are is beautiful, immaculate, immeasurable, awesome. You have so much power and potential in you. You just have to dig deep and pick it up. So enjoy your freaking life. <laughs> Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, trust in the process and trust in me that you are where you're meant to be right now in this moment, because where else would you even need to be? And when your brain plays these tricks on you, telling you, hey, I need to be in this future moment or have achieved this thing, you need to slam the door on those thoughts, come back to this moment and be like, no, that's bullshit. I have every right to be happy, to enjoy this current existence, watching this video eating some dinner, going out for a walk, the sunlight, working out, a chat with whoever. You have every right to enjoy this moment because this is the only one of these moments you'll ever get. And don't beat yourself up. Don't be stuck in this idea of needing something in the future and making yourself miserable for years and then looking back on all that wasted time like, why didn't I just let myself be happy? I thought I needed a million dollars, but then I got it and it didn't make me happy. I thought I needed a relationship, but you know, now I'm divorced and it turns out that never filled a hole in my soul. I thought I wanted a house and I got this house, but now I'm stuck in the city and I can't travel the world and I'm living paycheck to paycheck, paying bills. You see where I'm going with this, guys? It's like, no, the journey is what's meant to be enjoyed. Go for destinations. Have your dreams. It's okay to have desires and dreams and wants. Like, Go for the things you want in life. Be intentional. Move in those directions. But don't be dependent on any outcome. Accept and appreciate everything always and expect nothing. That doesn't mean you don't go for things. That doesn't mean you don't work on yourself. That doesn't mean you don't eat healthy, take care of yourself, lose weight, work on your mind, your mental health. It doesn't mean any of that. It's do all of that from a frame of, hey, I'm always a work in progress and that's a beautiful thing. There's no benchmark I need to hit because I'm perfect today and life is good. And the beautiful thing about perfection is that when you realize how imperfect you are, and this applies to everybody because nobody is perfect, we're all imperfect. And ironically, when you realize how imperfect you are, that's when you start to feel just perfect because it's like, hey, I know I'm flawed and I've got all these things that aren't, you know, right with me, but I accept it because that's just who I am. And then amazing, just nerd chills whenever you... Trust me, have that realization. You will just never be the same afterwards because now it's just like whenever things are wrong or there's something you don't like about yourself, it's like, nah, I ain't got to beat myself up about it. I go easy on myself. I am what I am. Just a human being like you. I'm on the path. I'm growing every day here for one ride on this game of life and just enjoying the journey. So my friends, I hope you found a lot of inspiration in this video. And back to what I was saying, enjoy your freaking life. It's better than you realize it. So turn this video off, go out, engage with the world, do a little meditation, breathe, sit with yourself and do whatever it takes for you to just love this moment because it's the only one you're going to get. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way